papers at the top. Are they at yeah. the top? <laughs> Hi everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my start over again. No. Hi everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again. And thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And I am and Chris is up to doing our mailbox today. And of course the sun just came out and got right in my eyes. Oh my goodness. But anyway, we just got done decorating our mailbox. Everything is the same as last year, for those of you who have been with me, except that we added this little mailbox swag. Now normally a mailbox swag is supposed to go over the mailbox this way, but I decided I wanted to do it this way because our mail people come from behind Chris, from, from behind the camera, and I want them to see it, you know. So we, we decided to do it a little differently, and it is a solar uh, it has solar lights on it. The little cardinals will light up at night, I hope. We'll see. <laughs> if I can get a picture of it another time, I will. But for today, I might just put this right up so, so I can get you a video today, because I have it in a couple of days. So, but anyway, I'll bring you up closer here, but I just wanted to come say hi. I hope that you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving. We sure did. We had a lovely time, and uh, I put some pictures up, or a picture up, of my dad and Chris and myself on our way to Candace's, and I'll try to show you more pictures in upcoming videos next week. But uh, for today, I just wanted to show you what we did with the mailbox. I'm going to come grab the camera from Chris here in just a second, but I do want to say some final words while I'm looking at you, and then I'll bring you closer and show you everything that we did over here. Uh, but let me just say that I hope that all is well with everyone, and for those of you who've been struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits. Hugs all around. And I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, don't go away because I'm gonna show you a little bit of what we've done to the front of the house. But for now, while I'm looking at you, I'll just say, y'all take good, good care. Candace and Dustin and Mav are on their way too, so they're gonna be here in about 45 minutes. Go us for getting this done, huh? <laughs> I'll be out. I'm gonna walk over to Chris and I am going to grab the camera. Thank you, honey. <laughs> These are the kind of bows that I got from, I think it's called Alpine Bow Shop or something like that. I will definitely give you a link in the description. I will tell you we bought 20 of these bows and you guys, the quality control on these bows is impeccable. It is just impeccable. I have fluffed every one of them. I'm fixing to go out and show you the front, the front of the house real quick, just that Chris has been putting wreaths on the windows. And you'll see we are using the same wreaths that we've used pretty much since we moved into this house. They've held up really well. Yeah. I just oh, wanted no. to show you these bows and just tell you about the quality. I mean, they are just impeccable. I mean, they're not the thickest of velvet or anything like that. And they're not lined with any, you know, gold special. They're, you know, trimmed in gold, as you can see. But I am telling you, every loop is the same. They are all made exactly the same. They are tied together with a wire the same. It had to be a machine that, that, that cranked these puppies out, let me tell you. Arlen, the Arlen machine did not do these. <laughs> uh, although they are really pretty. So I bought 20, and I, believe it or not, I still needed a couple more. Uh, so I did make one for, this is gonna go on the mailbox this year. I made a bow for the mailbox. And Chris already took the other one out. So we're still taking down fall. <laughs> or Chris did take down fall. And let me show you real quick. We've got the porch cleaned off. The chair will go around back and I'll bring a sleigh out here. Chris is out there deconstructing the mailbox at the front of the house here with those beautiful red bows on them. Oh my goodness, it's really bright out today. Sorry, I hope you can see. But 
Aren't they pretty? Oh my goodness, they look so pretty. And then I just made this bow a few minutes ago for here on the wagon wheels. And that looks pretty. Let's just put this up here. And this is just a bow like I made for the Christmas tree, just a big round bow that you saw me make the other day. Even though that footage was a little bit wonky there <laughs> in my flocked Christmas tree, I kind of sped through it, but you guys, I think, got the idea. Sorry about that. I was really tired doing that editing. But anyway, super pretty, super pretty. So, Chris used command going? strips to hold all the wreaths on the windows. And he actually leaves them up from year to year. And I only had to replace, how many did you have to replace this year? Twelve. You had to replace 12 of them. <laughs> yeah, but you haven't for how many years? They've been up for four years, he's saying, or so. So, sorry, he's taking everything down. I'm going to run and get in the shower. Did you? Oh, no, you did. It didn't break, though. Uh-oh. Thank goodness. <laughs> uh, little Santa and sleigh will go, and two reindeer will go up there. And a couple more bows will go out here on the lanterns. And there's the gazing ball in place again. Has a star for the big transom window up there. So we're just working until the kids get here. I actually have to shower. I'm still walking around in my slippers. <laughs> and Chris is deconstructing everything out here. Guys, here I All am right. behind the camera. And as I said, it's everything that we did last year. Chris did mention that he might grab those candy canes off of there and paint them red, a true red, along with maybe the like on this. This poor thing is decrepit. It's been out here about 50 years. <laughs> Not really, about seven probably. But as I said, this is exactly what I did last year. It might have been a different... Uh, mailbox cover I can't really remember what I had to be honest with you but we grabbed this one out and this is what we're going to use this year I think it's super pretty if I wanted to for winter all I would have to do is come out and take the red off and put some blue on you know and that would be pretty for the winter months too anyway I did make a new bow and uh, I just made it like you know kind of like the bow toppers to bow topper I made the other day just kind of did loopy 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 one after the other and that is Walmart ribbon there. And here is the swag, really cute, from Collections, etc. If I can get a link for you later today, I will. Probably not wait when this goes up. If I can get it up before the kids get here, I don't know. <laughs> I will try. But anyway, here's a little snowman. He's just a resin fella that Chris has got, you know, <laughs> rigged up with tie wraps and just a little couple of picks back in the back some bells and a very old garland around the post so super happy with how it worked out again i'm staying with my theme of true red this year except for the candy canes that look a little bit faded <laughs> but anyway i just wanted to show you too i brought you out earlier and uh the house is looking up. We've got, uh, you know, wreaths on all the windows with red bows. And I will give you a link for the bows, too. And then what we have, we have the whole porch to do. I haven't done anything out there. And we have a reindeer and sleigh that sits kind of out here. And I think Chris said he picked up some LED trees or something, some kind of trees he picked up last year at the end of the season that I was not even aware of. So he's going to put those up or out somewhere. I don't know. And, you know, I have a pine wreath for the front door. And I might not come back with anything else, y'all, until my home tour. I might wait until then to show you the rest of our decor out here you know give you something to look forward to <laughs> but it's looking pretty again this bow is nothing but a bunch of loops that's all it is not a funky bow just a loopy 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 bow 
but that's it for now. So, let me just say again, <laughs> as I said, the kids are coming, so I need to go ahead and get in the house and I might try to get this up for you guys today on this Saturday after Thanksgiving. <laughs> All righty, guys. Love you. Love you to bits. I'll see you next week sometime. All righty. Bye-bye.